Welcome back to Count It right here on Points Bet. It's your boy Kazim Fami Wide, joined by the prop queen, Ariel Epstein, with the fly coat, by the way. I love the oh, fit. You thank good. you. I just feel like a boss today. It's very bossy. It's given, it's given I hit all my props in the past couple of weeks. You know what else it's given? What? That I can order a $30 salad, Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, I can. I ordered one today right here to the studio. Guys, Worth it. Yoshi. 3-0 on props last night. Yoshi is one of our many great people that work here at Points Bet, and he was giving Ariel tons of crap for her $30 <laughs> salad, which is understandable, but, you know, funny when you know Yoshi and see him around here. <laughs> um, my gosh, a very interesting slate of NBA action tonight, starting off with two teams atop each conference, the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Ariel, the Grizzlies are 1-7. Since the infamous Shannon Sharp game at the Crypto.com Yikes. arena. Uh, what is your top prop for this game between the Cavaliers and the Grizzlies? Top prop will be my best bet. So I will go to a prop that is not out yet because the Grizzlies guard Desmond Bain. He's been so good from outside. Unfortunately, Bain is coming off an injury. Second leg of a back-to-back -back for Memphis. Not sure if he's going to play. If he does, though. This is a trend that everybody has to keep a close eye on, and that's for Bain to go over his three points prop when he's up against a bottom 10 defense from outside. So a three-point defense is bottom 10. You've got to take Bain over threes. He's averaging four three-pointers a game, just under 23 points a game, went up against a bottom a bottom 10 three-point defense. I love Desmond Bain over threes as long as he plays tonight. All right, like that pick. I mean, the Grizzlies, got to they got to snap this – funk eventually you know so hopefully it's against this Cavaliers team it's hopefully on the back of Desmond Bain who gets a lot of threes up against this team the Cavaliers give up a ton of threes perfect opportunity for the Grizzlies yeah to we know that well we saw the Cavs in the garden and Julius Randle went off for what six threes in the first quarter oh yeah loved every minute of that showcase of the Knicks hopefully we'll talk a little bit more of that after uh this segment Next one, the New Orleans Pelicans taking on the Dallas Mavericks. The Pelicans, sorry to say, after a great start to the season, have fallen by the wayside ever mm -hmm. since Zion Williamson has not been cleared to play. Luka Doncic, back from injury, dropped the 50 ball in his first game back, looking like another MVP-type year. Is he a part of your top prop for tonight? No Luca. However, his teammate, Dorian Finney Smith, I like his over four and a half rebounds. Finney Smith has gone over four and a half rebounds in four straight games. The Pelicans, although they're not a bottom 10 rebounding unit, the Pelicans, if you look back to their last five games, have allowed for at least two to three players a game to have at least six rebounds. Without the center Christian Wood for Dallas, it's had to have been Dorian Finney-Smith being that next big man to kind of step up. Luka Doncic still leads the way in rebounding for Dallas, yet there's going to be another player. And the only other option right now for Dallas is Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's been proven the last few games that he's been grabbing more boards. Take the over four and a half rebounds for Finney-Smith. All right, like that pick. I also like Luka Doncic rebounds as well, man, especially with the New Orleans Pelicans. Nobody to really answer him. Nobody really can answer for Luka anywhere. I love to talk about that after this break really quick. The Charlotte Hornets taking on the Chicago Bulls. Again, what used to be known as uh, the ball bowl between Lonzo and LaMelo. <laughs> Injuries have taken a little bit of luster out of this matchup, but the Charlotte Hornets are coming off an impressive win against the Miami Heat taking on the Chicago Bulls tonight. What's your top prop for this game? Top prop for a player that's really trending right now. Trade deadline coming up, all-star game, etc., you got to look to the leading three-point shooter, Zach Levine, for Chicago. Now he's getting a good matchup because the Hornets, bad defense, bad three-point defense. Against these bad three-point defenses, Levine's averaging just over two, about three three-pointers a game, averaging about 20 points in those games. And now they're at home. I like Chicago. I like Chicago's uh, leading three-point shooter, Zach Levine, over two and a half threes. I think he has about three or four tonight against a struggling Charlotte team defensively. Nice, nice. Well, you know, everybody struggles. <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not that Charlotte much. Hornets team, but <laughs> my gosh. Uh, we'll see how that goes, though. I do like that Zach Levine pick. Uh, the Bulls. He's got are, something to prove. Yeah, they got something to prove, and they're so streaky. Like, sometimes you're like, okay. They're starting to look like a team that can at least be in the play-in. 
And then there's yeah. other times where they, they, they can't even hit the broad side of the You think of everyone ball. that they have. I mean, you have DeMar DeRozan, Nikola yeah. Vucevic, and Zach Levine, who have been so great, and offensively, too. The problem is now you're even having all these trade talks. You, I, I guess, too, with the trade deadline coming up and Zach Levine versus DeMar DeRozan, it's been this – this like duo that they they kind of feel like they're fighting each other yeah, each game for like, the point like, too much your turn my turn with the rose right. and, and zach levine that's you know? why it's hard for me to go i know the last five games i've seen a lot of forwards have a lot more success against charlotte which is why i was looking more towards maybe a DeRozan or patrick williams game mm -hmm. patrick williams ugh, I, I, his, I can't rely on him <laughs> demar DeRozan though he's been Pretty good, just is around 25, 26 points a game, not his prop up 27. Levine, he could hit the threes, and I don't need him to go off for 25 to 30 points if I just need him to have three threes. Okay, all right. Well, I like the way you're looking at that matchup, and hopefully the Bulls can get it together. I just want to see Lonzo Ball play basketball again because it feels like when he was there, yes. those two guys, Levine and well, DeRozan. Well, their defense could have at least a little bit more with Lonzo there. Something, something. But hopefully he gets right with his injury and we see him back on the court sooner rather than later. Uh, Ariel, you said your best bet came from the Cavs-Grizzlies game, so give it to me. What's your best bet for tonight? Best bet for tonight is the Cavaliers center Jared Allen to have a double-double at minus 120. He should have at least 10 points. That's pretty much guaranteed for Allen. I shouldn't say that. Knock wood. However, <laughs> it's about the rebounds. The rebounds is where Allen struggled to get those double-doubles, and he should have at least 10 tonight, considering he is the man in the paint for the Cavs. It should be their power forward, Evan Mobley, to have more points, yet the rebounds should come to Allen, considering in three of the last five games, when facing the Memphis Grizzlies, there have been three big men. Rudy Gobert, Draymond Green, DeMontis Sabonis, they have had at least 10 rebounds in the last five against this Memphis team. Take that double-double, minus 120 for Jared Allen. I think those rebound numbers probably come because Jaron Jackson, as good as he's been this year, maybe not the most consistent. Steven Adams, injury problems here and there. Never know if he's suiting up. So there's going to be a lot of pain opportunities for those Twin Towers in Cleveland. Hopefully Jared Allen, the guy who probably has less radius then Evan Mobley, Evan Mobley's a little bit more perimeter. Jared Allen, he ain't going anywhere longer than 14 feet on the court. He's probably a better look to get those double-doubles in his rebound. So I love that pick. Ariel Epstein, Prop Queen, thank you so much for joining me as always. And always get to cash out with you on these games. Guys, don't go nowhere. You're going to get my picks on tonight's slate of NBA action with more Count It right after this break.